What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Today I've got another one from Vinegar Syndrome and this one is Savage Harbor, aka Death Feud. So, Savage Harbor stars Frank Stallone, which that and that alone should be enough to make you want to see this movie in my opinion. I always like to see Frank Stallone in movies. Um, he plays a sailor in this one and he's got the, he's the kind of dude that has like a girl in every port. Uh, so he doesn't like to settle down. But he meets a prostitute and falls in love with her. I think we've all been down that road before, so it's something that's kind of universal <laughs> falling in love with a prostitute. Anyway, he kind of, you know, starts to get the feeling like, hey, maybe there's more to life than just, you know, being a sailor, I guess. And anyway, um, he gets involved with the girl. Her pimp is not going to let her go. So he the pimp ends up kidnapping her. And so Frank Stallone has to team up with Chris Mitchum, which is like an amazing tag team for a movie like this, and to try to rescue the girl and I guess live happily ever after and pursue romance and all that. Savage Harbor is an, is an absolutely cheesy 80s action movie, but it is so much fun. Frank Stallone, again, is here, and that's enough for me to recommend the movie. But he's really fun to watch here. He takes he takes it pretty seriously, but it's also, you know, his acting is not always the best, so it's kind of has some unintentional humor, you know, cheesy stuff. I thought it was, I think his performance is one of his better ones here. It's just a, real, a lot of fun to watch. And you have Chris Mitchum, which is amazing. Um, always like seeing him in movies as well. You've also got Greta Blackburn, who's not quite as well known, but cult film fans probably have still seen uh, at least a few of her movies. This is an action movie. It does have some action set pieces. But it's kind of low rent and it's definitely cheesy, so don't expect like, you know, high gloss shootouts and crazy, uh, you know, large scale explosions or whatnot. But it does have some fun action scenes, shootouts and, and fights and stuff like that. Uh, but definitely skews toward the, the cheesier end. What I think really makes Savage Harbor worth a look is the dialogue and the characters. Frank Stallone is pretty serious here, but he's got some really ridiculous dialogue. He has this strange uh, obsession with avocados, which makes you know little things like that to me always make movies more interesting kind of like the uh guy in giallo in venice that always eats the eggs like frank stallone being obsessed with avocados is just kind of you know add some fun to this one uh so the dialogue is cheesy it's awkward the performances are okay but some of them are very again very cheesy so for my purposes in watching this which was just to be entertained by a wacky movie i think everything kind of falls into place here it's not one of the best you know uh cheesy 80s action movies out there but it's a solid watch and i think it's worth it just because the cast is so colorful and there are so many funny lines and it's just an entertaining movie it's got a brisk pace i don't know what else you could want from uh from a movie of this kind savage harbor was released by vinegar syndrome on blu-ray and it is the first disc in their vinegar syndrome archive collection um th these are to my knowledge they're not available directly through a place like amazon you have to go to an actual store to get them or you can go to the uh, vinegar syndrome website but what's kind of unique about them is that they're in these hard slip covers which of course vinegar syndrome is known for their slip covers but it's like a hard box slip cover it's really really nice um the movie it's and it also comes with a double-sided poster as well they're limited editions um, as you know, Vinegar Syndrome limited editions can end up going for you know quite a bit of money. So if it's something that you want, I would pick it up uh, while you can. The transfer is a new 2K scan and restoration. It looks amazing. I can't believe a movie like Savage Harbor got a 2K restoration. It's a wonderful time to be alive and to be a film fan. It looks fantastic. I mean, the print is just almost pristine. Colors are natural. Detail is great. It looks as good as better than I think anybody could have expected. It's a little bit light on extras. It's got a couple interviews, but one of them is with Frank Stallone. So that instantly, you know, ratchets up the value here. I think it's a really good DVD or a really good Blu-ray presentation. It doesn't come with a DVD though, unlike some of the Vinegar Syndrome releases. But I think this is about as good of a release as we could hope for. And I'm just excited to have the movie in such a tremendous presentation. Um, if you want to read my full review of Savage Harbor, you go to my website, markfusion.com. You can read that and thousands of other reviews are there as well. And there's also hundreds and hundreds of uh, movie reviews right here in my YouTube playlist. Uh, checking out those old videos helps me out a lot. If you want to go that extra mile, you can visit my site. Use my uh, affiliate links there. I'll use that money to get even more movies to review. And you can also, of course, drop a sub here. That would be a huge help to me as well. So thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you check out Savage Harbor if you love Frank Stallone. And let's be honest, who doesn't love Frank Stallone? Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.